There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're a living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves Where my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Your presence, Lord mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come flood this place and feel the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by your presence Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by your presence, Lord Oh, oh, oh. Overcome us with your presence. Overcome us with your presence, Lord. Overcome us with your presence. Overcome us with your presence. Please overcome us with your presence Just fill this place with your presence, Lord Fill this place with your presence Come overcome us with your presence Oh, come and fill us with your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord your presence Lord Psalm 113 verse 7 New Living Translation He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. Friends, welcome. I'm Tandiwe Gaya. I've got a beautiful prophetic word to share with you today. But before I start, please remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. So take it to the Lord. If you believe it's for you, pray, ask Him to reveal what it means to you and how you are to apply it in your life and if it really does pertain to you. Um, friends, the word is really powerful today and I'm so excited to share it with you. I've just spent <laughs> quite some time just in the presence of the Lord and just seeking Him and just soaking in His presence and um, He's given such a beautiful word to us today. It's based on a dream that I had uh, yesterday. So this word is for those who have been pressing into relationship with Him. 
the ones who have committed themselves to growing in spirit and in truth, the ones who genuinely seek God and his wisdom and his truth, this word is for you. Um, you you've really taken to heart what the Lord has been calling us to do, to press into relationship with him, to seek him first and his righteousness and not to be so focused on the other things that we added to you. God is saying this word is for you. You've heard me. You've stopped looking at your circumstances, says the Lord, and you've turned to focus on me. And you've surrendered all those things that you've been um, holding on to that you've been hoping for all the promises that he's made to you you have surrendered them to him you've surrendered people and now you have found yourself in a place where you are walking with the lord and it doesn't matter what's going on around you but you are with him and you've understood the call to come to him and to soak in his presence this word is for you so god is saying that he wants us to be immersed in his spirit. He's saying that those who are wealthy and rich in spirit, who are um, abundant, because that's where wealth and abundance and the richness of life begins. It begins in him. And God is saying that there are those of you who have been pressing into relationship with him. And because of it, you've become wealthy. You've become abundant in the spirit. Remember, friends, it starts in the spirit first and then it filters through to the physical. Because the spirit is more real than what we see, than what, than what we can tangibly touch and feel. So God is saying you have been promoted. You are levels higher than you were before because you've been obedient and you've really gone into this place with him where you're growing in him in wisdom and in truth and in knowledge in the things of the Lord. So he says that there are people that have been immersed in his spirit that have attained this level before you and God is saying that learn from them as well surround yourself with people like that whether it's people that um, you're exposed to in your life or whether you should go onto YouTube or listen to podcasts and find those people that um, have really that really have the presence of the Holy Spirit with them who've really pressed into relationship with God because you will learn so much from them God is saying that people like that are are ready for the race they are trained up for the race of life he's saying watch them learn from them because we're continuously in training and as we um, get promoted and elevate from level to level in the spirit God is saying that there are things that you need to learn that you need to be trained up and he's saying surround yourself with people that are spirit filled who have been to these levels because they are ready for the race they're ready to run this race of life to win the race of life in 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24 to 25, New Living Translation, it says, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So we do it for an eternal prize. And God is saying, run the race to win it. How do we run the race to win it? We spend time with him. We obey his call to come into his presence. Guys, this is not, this is like the foundation for your life to um, shift the way that your mind has prioritized things. Um, we want to get on with our lives. We want to go to work, we want to go to school, whatever the case might be. We want to eat, we want to do our activities, go to gym. Um, whatever it is that you do on a daily basis, we make sure that we get those things done. And then we say, oh yes, okay, so there is 30 minutes for the Lord. Oh, thank goodness I found 15 minutes. God is saying you need to change that mindset. The mindset should be time with the Lord is a non-negotiable. Time being filled by the Spirit of God is a non-negotiable. If I don't do this, it's the same as me not going to work without reason. If I don't do this, it's the same as me not eating without good reason. It's the same as me not going to school without good reason. This is the first and foremost because this is what um, this is where all things come from being in the presence of the Lord, pressing in to the truth of the spirit and the wisdom that, that God has for us in this hour, my friends. So God is saying, some of you have 
done this some of you are doing it and some of you are really really prioritizing this time with him and there are, there are great rewards for those of you who have been pressing into time with him god is saying that some of you don't realize um, what your obedience has done for you in the spirit. He's saying that you are ready for the next level. He's saying that he has promoted you already and that you shouldn't discount yourself. You should not look, look at yourself as um, any less than those who have attained that level and those who you are to watch and learn from. God is saying, yes, watch and learn from them, but you are at that level as well. He's saying that you too should stand in line and get ready to run this race of life alongside these very people that he has been walking with for a while now so I just want to read what the Lord said to me to you who this word is for so God says you get that your blessing lies in me and that I am the promise you're quick to obey and move as I tell you to you're not perfect because you may fall but you don't stay there you get up and keep moving as I am directing you you don't let the circumstances deter you anymore because you know where your treasure lies, my child. You understand that true godly wisdom is gaining from me and not the world. Everything else is chasing the wind. You understand that I am the big deal and not everything else. You get that in me are true everlasting treasures, love, joy, peace, hope, provision, grace, mercy, deliverance, healing, and deep connection. The deep connection that you seek, my children. He gave me Ecclesiastes 1 verse 14, and I'm reading from the NIV. It says, I have seen all the things that are done under the sun. All of them are meaningless, a chasing after the wind. He also gave me Philippians 4 verse 8. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. God is saying that because he has called you to change your thoughts, you have obeyed and you are the person who fixes your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and, admi and, and admirable. You think on the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. God is saying, for you there is promotion. It is done, you have been promoted. He's saying that he treasures every moment with you and the race is yours for the taking, my friends. So friends, that's the word that I have for you today. I pray that it's blessed you. It blessed me so much because um, we, it's, 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 been a, a, it's been an interesting start to the year. And to shift focus away from all the circumstances and all that's been going wrong, God is saying that for, to you who has obeyed that, there's promotion. And he has so much in store for you, my friends. So that's the word I have for you. Take it to him and pray. Um, let him speak to you about it and minister to you about it, my friends. God is so proud of you. He loves you so much. He says that you are his treasure. He delights in you. He's so just... He's, he just can't get enough of you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message from the Lord. My friends, you know, you know that you serve a good wonderful loving father and that you are so special to him There's no shadow.